Howdy, Beef Lombard here, and welcome. Pretty much sure that if anything can piss me off today, it's gonna. Everything that I try to do fights me. But I'm used to it. Whatever. Um, okay, so. So working on this, and. Then you package up something for development. It puts it in a folder called Windows No Editor. I don't like that crap. So I just grab everything, drag it out of there, and put it back in the root folder. And then I come in here and I delete that stupid ass Windows No Editor. Alright, so. What is it? Let's see if it actually works. We'll run it. And, of course, allow access. I made the damn thing. I know what's in it. Okay, no menu yet, just the usual. And wow, it's kind of dark in here. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, multiplayer, host, whatever for name, make. And just a simple shooter template. I mean, this is. Excuse me, I, I'm trying to talk here. Um, you're bugging me. Go away. So, this is just an example map. Yes. Next time they'll be running all up in my ass. Alright, so yeah, just a little simple. Um so I don't have a seat here. So the um the sample project itself is just something for excuse me, I am trying to talk. And nobody requested that you come up here and just be staring at my ass. Okay. No. No. Yes, I'm actually holding a gun. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, the um, sample project here, the sample shooter, it's primarily for in-house and for testing things, testing features, um, and what have you. The, the map right here is just an example map. It's not meant to be perfect. In fact, it's probably less than perfect because, uh, yeah, I should have kept it a lot simpler. Kept it single story, open roof, avoid doing any lighting, because the amount of lights that are in each one of these um, opposing buildings here. Let me get back up. All right, so come into the little rooms here, and the buildings are not even close to finish. But you can see there's another identical building on the other side, and identical rooms, identical everything to it. Um, just a test for. Uh, first aid kit. The player versus player damage isn't tweaked all the way right yet. It does work sometimes, but I'm not done with it. Um, what do you, what happened in there, bro? So you get a little particle effect whenever you hit, and I'm using the same particle effect for both the muzzle flash and the impact. Oh, shit, he saw me. Get away! Get away! As you can see when you fire... You get a little muzzle flash with a little smoke whenever it hits. You get the same effect there. I need to do a do once on that. Cause, uh, so it doesn't keep saying the same crap whenever you shoot him. Um, so yeah, you know, it's just the UE4 character. Uh, nothing special, just the um, uh, starter content and um, animation starter pack. Or, you know, some sit down animations that I've I've had, um, but yeah, nothing really really major. Uh, the weapon is just a broke ass thing MP5 that does have a light on it, and I was playing around with it until I get the aim space set up on here. I'm just gonna leave it to where um, you want to use a flashlight. It's actually attached to the head, so you can you can use a flashlight, look around. It does come from your your camera. I had it actually from the weapon itself, but I didn't like the way it was working, so until I set the aim space up, I'll just use it this way. So you can actually turn the light on and off with the F key. And see the, the map is not even close to being done. It seems a little poorly optimized, just too too much in the way of lighting. Um, so, you know, they got two heels on each side and one in the middle. And just the um, the random spawner. So whenever you're, you're you want to play with yourself, you can shoot them and just run around. See, they spawn all throughout this whole midsection here. 
you know, just drop in and and say hello. But yeah, you got this um, this couch, and on the other side, you can sit down. I'll actually go into the project here in just a minute because I, I want to do some more tweaks. Um, those two sofas, that one and, and that one, and this chair right here, you can sit down in. And it is replicated, so everything is working with replication. There's no issues with that, so it's all it's a multiplayer deal. And like I said, I do need to fix a couple things. Okay, you guys are going to piss me off. So hit escape and go back to the main menu. Exit game. What I was finding out is I've been using the, the project on a different hard drive, and it did not like being on that other hard drive for uh, packaging. So I actually had to clone it and clone it into my same drive that Unreal Engine 4 is actually installed to so that I could actually get the damn thing to package. As soon as I put it over here, no problem. It packaged right up. Um, yep, didn't mean to hit that button. The actual game itself. Let's see how big the thing is. And we'll just do... Add the core game. Because it does have the animation... Um, not the animation, that's going to be a problem. It's the starter content. Uh, it's going to add extra size to the uh, the packaging. So I can probably trim some more fat. I got rid of the example maps. Got a couple other maps I can get rid of and things, but they're not in the packaging. So they won't count towards this anyway. So that is... Core game... Eh, that's 200 megabytes. Yeah, I went through the trouble to, to package it up so I can delete it. Yeah, makes sense, right? Um, but yeah, the maps. Got the usual test map that I'll go back into here. Um, and a, a pain pad just so I can actually test out the, um, the med kit. So it takes away health. You can come over here and you can pick it up. And then it works. It's, again cheesy and I don't know why they do that but with the spawner itself you can actually come in here and like the med kit you can go to the details panel and heal amount um, I want it to heal for 30 and I want the respawn delay to be 10 seconds so I set it to where you could actually change that once you, you spawn it into the map you can do it individually. I was thinking about actually putting the numbers on it so you can see it and see how much the actual um, heal is. Um, I want to go into the pain pad as well and expose that uh, damage amount so that I can actually change the amount of it damages here. So in the pain pad, it's just a simple um, cube that's resized and then a box collision. And then all I did was just, for right now, just it's not even doing a full health check, it's just giving the health. So, I'll, I'll deal with the health check system later with whenever I finish that up. Not bad, everything's fighting my ass today. You can see I've got the amount that it's going to damage there, so I'm going to create a new variable and call it damage amount. We'll make it, it's not necessary to be replicated, but let's make it a float compost and save and we'll default it to 25 so now I can grab that variable plug it in right here and I can actually come back in and edit it whenever it's in the map so now compile and save if I click on this now um, oh, I forgot to click on the important bit right there expose on spawn so now there you go damage amount so when you want to click on it and set it I want to do I can slide it or I can just click on it I want it to do 75 damage so now when I hit play that's going to do a buttload of damage come back over here and grab my heal and it heals for 30 and there you go you can see you got the mp5 10 second delay worked and there we go so with the replication 
All right, so what really matters here is, okay, this is the server, and I'll just do this the one time, and then after that, I'm just going to stick the server on a different menu or a different um, monitor. But I just want to show that some of these things are actually working correctly. So this is the server window right here, and server. Cool, he draws his weapon out, and... You can see his muzzle flash. Try to get to where a server can see it better. Well, let's do this. Go back to the client. Zoom in. Now see, the server can see that he's got his weapon out. But he's not turning. I'm turning, but the server doesn't see the the, the client turning. So you can actually see the, the gun in hand. And then... It's actually, he's facing the wrong damn direction, so, excuse me, but get up, out of my damn way. So, put server back here, and I have to do that. So the server can see when the client fires with the, uh, the muzzle flash and a little bit of gun smoke coming out of there, and this is the, the server now. Same thing. You can see the uh, the bullet impacts on the ground. I'm looking in the wrong window to shoot here, but you can see the an the animations are all working correctly. And um, the bullet impacts aren't working perfectly. And you can see I'm shooting the crap out of the server there. And nothing's happening in the server. So I don't have that actually set up and working just correctly. So, yeah. I'm going to start closing Discord whenever I'm... In fact, let's do that. Shut down Discord. It's actually got to restart for an update anyway. But anyway, um, so yeah, still a few more things I got to take care of. Um, it's one of these things where you're talking about a one-day build. Stuff just slapped together over the course of a morning. I haven't been sitting behind it all day long. Um, and I don't actually have it in front of me. But I did finish out the handle on one of the knives and posted a picture onto my Discord channel. Um, yeah. All right, so closing out Discord. So, yeah, everybody knows that I do not like anybody sending me any kind of private messages while I'm streaming or DMs or using the mentions with my name in it is absolutely just retarded. Um, that's why um, mentions are actually, you know, the everyone mention is disabled for everyone and the only one that can actually use it is myself. Not even my admins can do it. So, um, yeah. Doing that to somebody is actually more disrespectful than, than anything else and most people don't realize that. So anyway, but yeah, the um, I've got the med kit, and all I did was I to make the, uh, the the cross itself. It's beyond simple. You just grab a cube. Uh, I've already got a bunch of materials in here. Change the material over to red. Picked it up a little bit, resized it. I think it was like point three or point two. And just figure out how big you want it to be. And that, again, 0.2, and then I think I did it like 0.3 wide. Now, a little too short, 0.5. Yeah, but I don't want the attention. It, it, it annoys me, and it interrupts me from actually working. So you can actually get the dimensions the way you like it and then 
control C, control V, and paste in a second version of it, rotate it around. And since you've got, they're both the same thing, both the same dimensions, you can click on both of them at the same time. And if you realize, okay, I want this to be 0.15 and 0.15, I want it to be that size. Then, yeah, that looks a little bit better. That's what I want. Oh yeah, but yeah, I make it perfectly clear in all my videos. I make it perfectly clear on my my uh, Discord channel. But you know how trolls get. You know, I had that troll the other day. So, and people do that kind of stuff just to get attention. And all I do is ignore them. So, so once you do that right there, then all you got to do while you have both of them selected is right click and convert actors to static mesh. I'm not going to do that because I've already got it. Once you can. No, eat a dick. So I'm actually going to delete those two, but that's because I've already got right there. I just called it Red Cross. And the one thing you want to do once you convert it to static mesh is go into it. Now, for something like this, you don't need any collisions on it because you want to be able to walk through it and you want to be able to set it to where if the player doesn't actually need the health if they're already at 100 percent then they just walk through it and don't pick it up that way they're not being a loot ninja but when you do it come down to your general settings this will be on four by default change it to 64 or 32 but 64 is, is good and then you want to also click right here and make sure that light map coordinates is not set to zero because sometimes it will be especially whenever you're converting a um you say if you're trying to convert a what the hell are they called? Um, yeah, BSP geometry, it will oftentimes be zero on the light map coordinate index. So between those two, what's going to happen is if you don't fix those two, 64 on that and at least one on that, um, you could do two or four, but two is fine. What will happen is when you go to do a lighting build, what will happen is it will not, it will show up black. It won't handle the um, the lighting at all, and just looks like crap. And it took me a while to kind of figure out what was going on with that, and some screwing around to figure it out. But yeah, that's that's my test map. So now I've got the ability to, to go to my health uh, pick and my little health pick up there, and I can set the heal amount thirty. Gonna get twenty five. Um, leave it a 10 second delay or on the uh, respawn or five seconds or whatever and um, you don't have to resave your map every time you change them but that's going to let you do that and same thing with the um, the spawner for the bots you know I've got two right now so if I just change this back to one go and select a viewport and see I get two bots that spawn in and that's fine but if I wanted to I can go to my spawner Yeah, I don't have school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you were up kind of late last night, so... Let's bump this number up to six. Now, we can get six guys spawning in here and running around chasing us. Alright, buddy. Take care. So, just by changing that number around, you can change however many you want to uh, spawn. I usually keep it at two for this map. Just simply because that's plenty for the small map but I go over to the other map the demo map see I'm probably gonna need to get rid of some lighting because when you scroll out and they're in blueprint lighting so it's not like you know they're um, well let's just scroll down the list of them of all the freaking ceiling lights that are in and this one right here that might be a little bit much. Um, that's 66 lights in each one of the, the two buildings. So if you think about it, this one has 66 and that one has 66. So, you know, that's a lot of freaking lights. So in theory, I should probably just rip out all the lighting, rip out the whole second floor, rip off the ceiling for the other one so that it's just you know I don't think that's what I'll actually do it might make the map a little bit smoother and easier to work with 
But the way I've done it is trying to be smart. I'll just come back in here and close these up. But and I'm going to disable the camera for just a minute. All right, so webcam. Okay, so you can see I've got the med kits and I'm going to create another folder here called spawns. It's going to include my med kits and I'm just going to put those in there. So everything is neat and clean and organized. But now if I want to go in here and actually get rid of the lights, I can go into hotel and that's this one right here we're looking at. And I can shift you know, I can just left click and then shift left click on all those lights and boom, deleted all at one time. So now I can do the same thing on Hotel 2. I can open it up, click on the light, scroll down, and all those lights, and boom, hit the delete key and they're gone. So that's going to help a little bit. And what I could do is completely delete Hotel 2 and then do what I want to do over here at Hotel 1. So that's what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to select Hotel 2, all of its contents. I'm not going to delete the folder. Holy crap. Oh, pizza for dinner. So there. Um, that's 369 actors for this. See, I also had spawns in there as well. I don't want those um, player spawns to, to delete. So I'll just come back here and find them on the list. And control left click to unselect them. And delete. So that whole building is gone now. And that left. That's the two made kits. Okay. We'll leave those. So that killed that entire thing. So the only thing left over here on Hotel 2 is just those spawns. Now, the fun part is you look at these window frames here. And I'm pretty sure if I did all the way down to here, um, it's just going to piss me off. So try that again. It depends on how I did them. And I think that, um, yeah be easier to just go ahead and do it this way. Just start deleting stuff. But you gotta watch whatever you're doing it so you don't delete something like the you know the skybox or something like that. Um this seemed like a good idea when I started making it and fiddling with the lighting and stuff like that. But you know too easy to get carried away. What I'll do whenever I get close to getting all this stuff gone is now some of these I should be able to click on like so and it'll just piss me off because it you know absolutely just grabs the wrong shit. I am clicking here. I want to shift click right there. Fuck, how's that, you know, so difficult, right? Um, by clicking on the ones that are on the rooftop like this, I know that they should be all selected together in one group once I go downward. So, I should be able to do that. There won't be an easy way of doing this. This is probably the easy way is just clicking on it and deleting it. But the whole whole concept here is, you know, of this shooter template is, and I didn't like build it to sell it or anything. So, I mean, it's not like it's a public offering. But for in-house testing, for, you know, building a template. If I want to, for example, and it's not going to happen, but if I wanted to put Paragon characters into a, um, a project 
and quickly just retarget the uh, the characters over so that I can actually have a um, a quick built shooting demo. The shooting system's already in place. The um, the combat systems are already in place. Everything's there. All I have to do is just plug in the characters and retarget it. Um, if I want to test out how guns look, if I want to do like the Cindy Studios assets, I can quickly just add that to the project and pff, there you go. I can take this and actually clone it and quickly put together a, a, a shootable demo. So if I chose like the Cindy Studios assets, you know, I was doing the try before you buy asset packs on the asset packs, like the um, the one for um, the city pack or the the latest one, which was the Western Frontier. Doing those, I can actually take that, put the asset pack in there, and instantly have a shooting demo of sorts. You can just jump in there and go. And that's what I kind of wanted to have, is a, a quick slap together um, where I could quickly put things together and not have to worry about it. I know that they're going to work. Well, I'm going to grab from this chair. God, I just love whenever I'm, trying, I'm doing something and I'm selecting things. And it absolutely is paying absolutely zero attention to what I'm physically clicking on. And it just goes to the bottom of the list again. Even though I, I try to make sure that I'm doing the right shit here. So, up those chairs. These are the, the sit-down thing. And I mentioned this and, and showed this in a different um, project. But essentially, if I want to add in a, a chair and I want to be able to sit into it, then... I know that you know all I have to do is just drop one of these things in here. I've already gone through the um, the effort of um, creating the basic sit down area, and all I have to do is just drop these into the map right in front of like if I want to put them right. In, it's kind of hard to see now because of the lighting build, but that this is why I want to get rid of all this so I can actually redo the lighting build and actually just see and not worry about the the actual lighting and all that junk. To me, that's really not that important for a test map. So how's everybody else doing? You know, I'm sitting here running my mouth about stuff that I can't even see here that I'm trying to delete. I'm just going to do a lighting build. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Um... So yeah, um, no, it's just I'm doing it a slow way while I'm I'm chatting and drinking coffee. I guess I could turn the camera back on. In no hurry. It pissed me off though, as I wasted probably an hour just figuring out. Well, gee, you know, I I created the project on my F drive. And I've created several other ones on there, but for some reason, the project crashed probably in the neighborhood of 12 times. Just straight up crashed. And I'm like, the hell, you know? I don't get that problem. It Okay, UE4 crashes sometimes, but I don't have a problem where it just crashes a lot. You know, and it's, this was excessive. And we're, you know, like I said, we're talking a dozen times just screwing around with this project. And I'm like, what the hell, you know? I thought maybe there was something wrong with, you know, the fact that um, when I was doing the Paragon project from the other day, I thought maybe it was just to do mostly with the Paragon assets. Well, this is a really simple project. And the only, like I said, the only assets that are in here is my multiplayer template the um, um, the starter content and yeah the animation of starter pack I mean just very little there's nothing in here and it's 
being unstable and crashing and everything else. And it's like, what the hell? But now that I moved it over here to back to the C drive, you know, where the where Unreal Engine, you know, the whole thing, the, everything is installed to. I'm not having any problems. It doesn't seem like. So, I guess if I hadn't um, removed local content on all the freaking uh, Paragon assets that I had downloaded and you know, all the other stuff I had downloaded for that and deleted the projects, um, then I might have actually been able to work a little smoother. But yeah. It just seemed to, you know, with those those assets, they just annoyed me. They they just they're so unoptimized that that's much better. So yes, I can live with this here. I don't want to have to deal with lighting issues. All right, so I need to get everything in here, but the player starts. I guess I could have deleted the other player starts, but eh, whatever. Control C and Control V, and before I even get carried away with moving the damn thing, let's put it in Hotel 2. So now I can come back in here. And I know all my shit is good to go. And, yeah, I don't know why I had to keep the player starts over there. Yes, please rebuild navigation. You're going to have to rebuild a couple times. I didn't have this building in the right place anyway, and I needed to move it. It wasn't centered up in the map. And I gotta have shit symmetrical. So, yeah, see, it's still kind of choppy just floating around right here. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just trying to center it up on the map. I'm not worried about changing pivot points for the entire building because I'm not going to make it into one big giant static mesh. I could, but oh, and I see I forgot something else here too. Um, whenever you you want to make quick and dirty invisible stairs, you can see. Um, let me find those stairs now. What I do is. Um, as you can see, these stairs, they're invisible. They're subtractive. So I build stairs, and then I do another set of stairs with the BSPs as well. But I subtract one stair from it, and then I turn it subtractive. And lets me just slide it over a little bit. And it looks like i got floating stairs that go up. But don't need those. All right, so we will more than likely have those same two over here as well. So might as well find them and get rid of them. Yep, they're on there. So yeah, the um, this is just supposed to be a test map. Um, the number of spawns isn't really important. The whole thing was the fact that I've got the the spawn area. I just resize the entire the spawn area for the the bots to this big ass area right there I can resize it however big I want and I got it set for three spawns that's good enough um, I actually take that to four and I'm gonna save all because I know how things get whenever I try to do lighting builds sometimes but I'll go ahead and build that save that and then I'll work on something else yeah, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, on a stream tonight. I'm just kind of just chit-chatting, relaxing. See if anybody wanted to check, chat about anything in particular. And I'm, I'm assuming that that troll from the other night... Um, was hitting up my Discord channel, and 
after I, I banned that account, then um, I don't know who it was that was just sending me messages on Discord, but I'm just going to get in the habit of turning off Discord whenever I'm actually streaming. So I'll turn it back on and find out what the hell they want, and I don't know who it was, so whatever. Alright, that are that. So I actually set my spawn to zero. For right here, whenever I click on the spawner, the max spawn, I can change that to zero if I don't want to have any spawn at all. But this will suffice for a what I need for testing. I don't have to worry about putting in lights, you know, for a test map. And, um, the one thing that I do have right now is, um, if you notice, whenever I go to get up, or, you know, I thought I could get up, um, now why did that break? And see, just random shit breaking on me tonight. Um, what I was doing was, as you see, he just sits straight up. And, at first, what I'd done is I'd forgotten to tell it the to do the stand-up animation, and I'm like, oh damn, well okay. So I went back in there and I, I set it to actually do the the stand-up animation, and the stand-up is the one that had the problem with the root on it, so I needed to fix that. And let's go ahead and save everything now, and let me look at that animation. So I disabled it again, and. It's actually not that horrible whenever you, you go to stand back up. Because you, you come over here, you sit down, and then when you go to get back up, bang, you're back up. And you're right there in front of it. Um, so it's not bad. You know, the stand-up animation looks better. But, you know, <laughs> since I forgot to do the um, the actual repair to that animation, I go into... Um, other folder still using third person animation blueprint so so you've got um, your and I have it just set this way and it's um, essentially you get the sit down animation and the sit idle animation and then there should be one more which is another state here and then you want to go ahead and delete that one And this would actually be for seated not. I'm not sure what I'm talking about here. And then go from we'll just call that stand the sit to stand animation I could probably do this you know separately but this works I mean to get back into that just to uh, the time remaining there we go and Let's see, I got the animation in there already, so that's good. And that's good. So, yeah. Well, actually, go ahead to sit down and then stand back up again. It's doing the animation to get back up. And you can see whenever I go to get back up, the player slides forward. And then, yeah, I didn't set the zero in there. Guarantee that's what I did. Yes. But, yeah, as I was saying, is um, whenever it goes to get back up, the character slides. And that was the, the root of the um, the animation. So we can go stand back up. You see how you slide forward and then pff, slide back. And I don't know. I mean, I, I can quickly fix that. But it's just weird that um, I forgot it and it actually looked okay. The emanation, and that was stand to, no, sit to stand. And you would think that, you know, like the, the root, it shows there. 
So you can see that one. I'll bring up the um, sitting idle. It's right there between his feet. And stand to sit. Well, I could have done it this way if I knew it was not going to open all three up at once. So the roots between his feet on there and on sitting idle. So sit to stand, the roots pushed all the way forward. So if I slide the root to where it's in the correct location, then that should take care of the problem. I guess I can pause the damn thing so it's not constantly standing up on me while I'm trying to move the damn thing. So then, yeah, try that. So that should take care of the problem. See, his feet stay planted in the same location, and his butt and back gets up. So that should take care of the, uh, the sliding. Sits down, gets up. Much better. And say I put two of those sit down things on this particular chair. Get out of my way, punks. So, to actually get any chair to where you can sit in it, it's just as simple as taking, you see, with a sofa, I put two on there. I could probably shrink it down a little bit because the player is not actually that wide. If you think about it, it's one, two, three, four, five, six of these tiles wide. And if I come in here and sit down, the character is not actually six of those tiles wide. So we're talking about one, two, three, four. Mm, roughly four, four and a half. So I could probably shrink that thing down a little bit. And that way I could maybe even put three of them on this one couch. So three people, bleh, three people could sit there. So let's try that. The BP sit down location. Essentially, it's just that. I've got in the, um, the item... I've got the base, which is just a, a, a cube that's flattened out, that's hidden in game, and I got the entry location and the facing direction, and then in here I'm just getting a reference to the um, the box collision on component begin overlap. It's just telling the player character that you're at the chair, and then it sets a sit transform, which is the the actual location where your feet need to go, so you can actually basically teleport. You set your world location or actual location. So that's all that's in there. But let's actually see if I can squish the base and the entry. This isn't actually what matters. It's um, it only matters for placement. You can see that's made it a little bit thinner so now I can actually grab this one scoot it over a little bit more move this one over you don't want the boxes to overlap I mean I don't think it really would hurt that much but um, you don't want to get too thin Let's add a third one in here. That's not bad. We'll, we'll try this one. It should be the one on the right. So, should be three positions. You can sit down here. In fact, I can actually... So, why is it now that... Is it because Senior Bot is sticking its ass in my damn way? Let me turn off that. Spawn at zero. So, yep, nobody's spawning. That's lovely. And let's actually grab two player new pie window. And, yeah, I'm just going to run in here. I think that's what it is. The uh, the bot was, was all in my face there. So, let's sit down. It's like. We may be on the other other side. 
Um, I'm just going to simplify it, make sure I know that I'm in the right spot, play from here. Um, Well, I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, because that puts me on the wrong building. Yeah, I'm being a schmuck. I'm going to throw a pain pad in front of the door. That's the wrong building. Yes, it would probably be easier if I just did it on, on a test map. So yes, this is the wrong map. This or the the wrong side here. So let's put you here. Come back to you. I probably should have grabbed a third player. see how squished up they are. No, he went to the other side. Okay. Did I break it so now the client's not working? That's actually not bad. Why isn't the damn client getting up now? This shit was working perfectly. I blame Skippy. All right, so this is the client. Let's set the client in the middle. And we'll put the server to be able to switch back and forth. So yeah, that's pretty good. We can get three people comfortably on this couch. Yeah, I, this is this is one I slapped together. This was a, a five-minute quickie. Um, totally different project and everything else. So I need to go back in there and tweak a few things, like setting it to where it does check, like, okay, somebody's already sitting here. But um, what the hell? Now the server won't get up. What in the hell? This shit was working perfectly. Now it's fucking broke. There is no reason for this to be broke now. I didn't change any of this shit. None of this changed. I didn't change anything. I didn't change anything in the player. I didn't change anything. It went from working to not working. Just because I'm Real Engine 4 hates me. And, but as you can see, I, I, I need to kind of start cleaning up this um, blueprint a little bit more. Refining things down. I'm gonna revamp some of the shooting stuff. Um, the damage. Yeah, there's all sorts of shit I gotta get back through here. But I didn't change anything. This was working perfectly fine, and now suddenly it's broken. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, that's a good possibility. Because remember, whenever the the bot was standing directly in front of us, I couldn't get back up. So that's probably what it is, is an overlap issue. So I can either say, okay, screw that, and just leave it to two people on the couch, or I can disable collisions and stuff. Which would probably be the, well, sort of the easiest thing to do. Maybe um, the capsule component. So let's actually, just for shits and grins here, um... Uncheck hidden in game on the capsule component. And let's see. Now I can see the capsule component. Run over here as the client. Well, I was in front of the right damn building to begin with. Shit. See, I'm just having one of those days. Put a big, white-ass freaking pain volume, or pain pad. 
Yeah, see how wide that capsule component is? That shit's huge. I actually probably just need to go ahead and shrink that bitch down. Do some more damage. Come on. Do some more damage. Come on. There you go. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it is. The capsule component's too big. I don't... Why the hell is it that big? Yep, they're overlapping. Server can get up and down. But why is it that um, this is doing this shit here now? Really? Oh, I can imagine. Why the hell is it... Ugh. Capsule component. Viewport. Let's see. There's no reason for it to be that big. Thinner now. But just, you know, it's one of those things that I just don't totally get it is I get something working and it works just fine. No problem. Tested things a hundred freaking times today on things from shooting to damage to um, damaging the bots to whatever. Alright, so they're not overlapping now. But now the server can't get up. Client can't get up. They're both stuck. Mm. That makes even less sense. When it <laughs> I guess it's one of those days where I just need to say, um, um, Unreal Engine 4. And just go play a freaking game or do something else. Go smash my genitals in a car door or something like that. Yeah, but it was working perfectly fine through 10, 20, 30, 40 tests. Nothing, no problem whatsoever. And now suddenly, shit's breaking. So let's just take out the um, the third one there. Leaving pretty well gapped out. I mean, I tested this thing. Really? It's just not even sitting down now. But I tested it. I made sure that it was working and that I moved on to something else. And I didn't mess with that, that part of anything. And nothing that would have made any difference whatsoever. So server seeing it perfectly fine, and now the client don't see shit working right. And now you see the server just saw him stand up, and then the client sees himself standing or sitting down. Why? Why? Why the hell did it fucking break now? There's no reason for it to have broken. All I did was I rescaled that, so I didn't change anything in the player character. All I did was I resized that. Well, I would have to go back in there and delete everything that I did and then just copy yours in. But but you understand what I'm saying, though, is why in the hell did it quit working when it was working perfectly fine? And just freaking broke for no reason. Whenever it was there, it was no problem. Did you notice that it also affected the, the arrow, the scale of the arrow. So 
scaled it back up. That's all I did. Was it just rescaled that shit. <sighs> yeah, it's just one of those things where shit's just gonna mess with me. Things that did work now break. You know, things that were breaking start working. So I can see through the window. It's perfectly fine. So let's bring the server in. Everything's good. Have a seat. That's good. And now I get up and it's working again. No problem. So tell me, why did um, the scale or, or you know resizing the base pad that's not visible in in the game? I mean, I could even delete that base pad. It doesn't do anything. It was just a visual reference for me for sizing it up. But I can use the um, the actual box in here, so I can get rid of the base completely. So tell me, why resizing the um, the actual box collision? Why did that break everything? What does it have to do with the price of rice in China? I mean, <laughs> it makes no difference. It's just a damn box collision. Why should it matter? I probably needed to, to resize that um, the capsule collision anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Right now they'll sit on top of each other's lap, but I didn't change anything other than I scaled the um, the actual. Um, box collision. That's all I did was I rescaled the box collision and it went from working to not working. So see, nice and good. Come over here, sit in this one. Well you know what they say and you were saying the other day if it ain't broke keep fixing it till it breaks and that's what the hell happened I had shit that was working I had to go screw with it and <laughs> stop working <coughs> so yeah no idea well I've got the um the player damage off right now Maybe that's a little bit too much smoke coming off the gun, but. Alright, so. That or that. I don't know, I like that little bit of gun smoke that comes out. The muzzle flash isn't bright enough. I need to go back in here and tweak that a little bit more. Maybe push it a little bit farther away from the barrel just so it looks a bit cooler yeah that's probably why it's best to um, make sure that once you sit down in that box um, set up a system for it to actually disable the uh, the collision so this was just a a quick throw together build today um, working towards trying to get the uh, the in-house template together I'll do I, I went through this and did this once before and I hated everything about it and deleted it and I'm gonna quit deleting the damn thing just start fixing shit as as I need to and getting it working correctly instead of just deleting the whole friggin project but this also gets to be a good stress reliever. Um, I'm not going to put any grass or anything out here because I like having the grid. So I can come out here and lay something out and I can lay it out by the grid because they're a perfect 100 by 100 uh, grid. Um, I mean, I could go back in here and take all the the textures off the floors and let, let everything be freaking white, but yeah, whatever. It was intended just for 
being a quick template for testing or for the try before you buy asset packs. So I actually have a working basic shooter system to, thrown together. The setting part is nice too, but um, you know, just as an example system for testing things and for whenever you just get pissed off and you just want to go ahead and get the team together and just run around and shoot each other for a little bit. Or if you're bored and want to play by yourself, what I ought to do is go back into it and set up that world spawner, or the, the enemy spawner, so that you um, can actually access it from a widget inside the, uh, the main menu. So when you're actually playing and to do it in a standalone game, but save selected, yes please. Um, so you hit the escape key or whatever and bring up your, your pause menu or your whatever menu, then um oh shit, I gotta turn off that freaking capsule component. So you hit escape and come in here and have an options um, selection right here and set up that um, as an actual option to increase or decrease the number of spawns and show you how many are actually going to spawn. So just access that max spawn number. But again, something to work on a little bit at a time. You know, the chair system, I'll keep refining it and refining it and refining it until it's perfect and totally bulletproof. The shooting system, I'll keep refining it until it's the way that I like it. I don't like it right now. I don't like the um, the view system. I hit V to go into first person view, but I don't have a namespace on it yet. And I really hate this particular gun because, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a bullet floating in the air. And I had someone to edit the model for me, and then uh, they sent it to me, and I lost the freaking model they sent me. But I would want the aim space to work correctly in this view. So if I want, I could actually be in third person view with that animation blueprint running so that I can actually see the gun in hand. And then as I'm aiming, I could put the light back on the freaking. You can see the light is now it's fixed with the camera. You probably can't see it in here, but but wherever you're aiming, it actually is projecting that way. And I want I need to go ahead and set up the aim space so that I can put the light back on the gun itself, so the light is actually a weapon light instead of just a fake flashlight. Because you can see, I locked it in that position because whenever I'm in first person view. If I come in here and I look down, turn on the flashlight, I want it there, and then I go out of that view, but I leave the flashlight on, the light stays aimed in that same direction. So now i got a permanent flashlight I can leave on as I'm going down the hallway, dark areas, shit like that. So there's there's some good and bad to it, but, yeah, whatever. I keep refining shit a little bit at a time until I like it, and then I'll move on to something else. Because I still need to add, like, hunger system, thirst system, maybe a stamina system. A little quick and easy thing of, I hate the the over-exaggerated jump on these characters. So, you know, it's really complicated to change that. I mean, you got to, like, change one number and stuff. You know, it's just so much stuff to do. And not to mention all the things that I've had going on today. I was going to turn off the capsule component to editing game and I could go ahead and do the jump velocity 600 is not bad Knock it to 400. Air control. You know, I've never even messed with that shit. So I probably could come in here and tweak that a little bit too and smooth out the um, the jumping. Because I just don't like that over-exaggerated jump. A little bit of a jump is okay, but it's a little better. You don't want to do a freaking standing long jump of 20 feet, you know?
Now let's cut it in half. All right, I've had enough fun. I actually need to get rid of the pain pad here. And probably need to spend a few minutes later on fixing the player damage system so that you um, can actually shoot at each other instead of uh, just bots only. Yeah. We're thinking like 1.5 on the gravity. It's just regular character movement. It would seem like it would be something in here. Um, falling lateral friction. You know, there's some kind of settings on that, but... Yeah, 1.2. We'll see what it... We see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a little better. I don't really need these um, med kits in here, but I'll leave the one in the center just because it's, you know, it's purdy, and I made it with my own two two fingers, left mouse button and right mouse button. In that purdy. <laughs> oh, little stupid things like that amuse me today. I'm just, it's just been one of those days where little things that normally are not a problem just absolutely just have annoyed the crap out of me but at least I did finish one of my knives today and looks pretty good it's actually in the kitchen but you know that's where knives should be um, she have got um All I have is pictures here, and they're on my Discord channel, but and they're not really good quality pictures either. You can't even see the freaking handle good on that shit. But it's a Santoko blade. Um, it's a uh, African blackwood on the front, and it's um, and it's kind of a blurry picture. But this is leopard wood for the rest of the scales there, and these are brush nickel but it's um nickel uh, steel on the um the pins terrible pictures but yeah i like that wood um the african blackwood just it seems like it's a pretty pretty um robust wood they both tend to be a little on the oily side but i've i've also got them waxed too i, I use um uh, like a butcher wax But, you know, first time doing those, so. I know for one thing, for damn sure, blades are freaking sharp as hell. I mean, uh, that's the one that is, um, I picked it up, and the cardboard protector that I had wrapped around it had slid back just like a half of an inch, and I barely touched the freaking blade, and it drew blood. So, they're sharp, they're good. The other blade's done. I just got to actually take the time. We've had so much rain lately that I haven't been able to actually do the wood. I don't want to sit there and use belt grinders and stuff like that outside whenever the ground's wet. I don't have a shop that's inside that I can work with. God, I want to put something in there, but I need to focus in on the other shit that's more important. Why are you three bastards all the way over there? You're supposed to be in front. Is that building not centered? Hell no, it's not. Damn it to hell. I thought I had this freaking building lined up. I have too many OCD issues to be doing anything when fucking game development.
Yes, it's close, but five more. There we go. I'm not moving that son of a bitch anymore. It's good enough. Those spawns will just have to deal with it. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to hit that magical build button real quick and let it do its thing. And I'm going to repack this and th throw it to uh, some of the guys on my team. And we'll just go blow each other's brains out in this game for a little bit. I'll turn some of the spawns back on once it gets done building. So I can have probably, I don't know, four. Seems good. If you guys want this, actually, um, the package version of this where you can actually play around with it, let me know. But because it does take me probably about, well, I don't know. It's under 200 megabytes, so it shouldn't be that bad for the, the upload. Um, but I just have sh you know, shit internet. Alright. Good enough. We'll hit this. Let's go with four spawns. Save all, and I'm gonna build. I'm gonna package this thing back up again, and I may upload it tonight. Well, I'm gonna upload it here shortly. But um, if, if you guys want a link to it, let me know. And if anybody's on the East Coast, U.S. Steam region, let me know. You, we all join together. All right, guys. We'll see you later, and I will see you guys on the next video.